Hello, so let me present you the problem with the sub flexible sub-assemblies. So here we have two assemblies, uh, sub-assembly, which is very simple, two cubes with a revolute joint. So uh, they are just moving like this. And we have our main assembly here, which is just uh, currently with a grounded uh, object, right? So let now let's say you want to have two sub-assemblies uh, in your main assembly. So one thing you can do currently is create links. So let's say you had two links. Let me add two links and I will drop them uh, in the main assembly, right? So I take them and I put them in the main assembly. So now you see we have two, uh, two sub-assemblies, uh, but they are rigid, okay? The joint between this cube and this cube, it is not moving, right? So I can create a link Say, for example, I can create a slider joint between this and uh, this, and it's going to work, but they act as a solid. And you see, when I move this, I am actually moving this object, right? The sub-assembly object, the link object, I mean. So this is why this and this can have different placements. But the thing is that, so they can, let me make that smaller. They can have different joints, okay, so that's possible. And they can move independently, but you see the components inside the assembly, they cannot move. Uh, and the reason is that uh, it's, you see, it's the objects that are in the, in the sub-assembly. It's the same objects here, cube and cube 002. So let me hide this. It's the same here, uh, here, and in the other one here. It's all the same object. And so they have the same placement, which is relative to their container, right? So this cube can move, but it's actually the same as moving the sub-assembly cube, right? So if, if I move the, the original cube, so this is the, the sub-assembly, right? This is the sub-assembly. Uh, and if I move the cube, you see they all move because the placement of the object is changing and it's the same object, so they all move together. So it is currently not possible to have, uh, to have this cube and this cube to behave differently. Right, so this they must have currently the same placement. So if you want to have a flexible subassembly, then you probably want um, a way to 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 have the joint, the revolute joint here, move independently to this one. So this one is maybe you can revolute this, and you can revolute this differently. Right, so now how, how can we do it, right? So there are several possibilities. Uh, the first possibility is to use links with copy on change uh, properties. And the idea is that, so it's, uh, the idea is that the placement of the cube would be defined in the sub-assembly object. So here we would have a list of placement basically and one placement for each uh, component and it would be stored in the sub-assembly object. And the idea would be that the, the, the placement of the cube would be referencing the property in the, in the assembly object, right? And so with copy on change, it would behind the scene create a copy of the assembly and thus enabling to have different placement for these cubes, right? Because one of them would be a hidden copy in a hidden document. So it's one, one possibility, but uh, the thing is that if you have many of the sub-assemblies, then you have many copies of the shapes, right? And 
Well, there are also other downsides. And so another possibility is to have a link that is, is to have like an object, which is not a link to the subassembly, but which has the same content as the subassembly and which synchronize the contents. And so this is what I have started in, uh, in my current PR. So I can show you how, how it works. So here we have the two statics, right, links, which are um, here you see with the white arrow. So in my current PR, I, I made it like this. If I insert a subassembly, let me insert two subassemblies. It is actually not adding links to the uh, to the subassembly. It is creating a special kind of object which are called uh, assembly links. Uh, so assembly link is not a, a app link. So it's not an app link. Uh, it is sharing a property uh, like this, like you have the linked object. So it's linking to the assembly, to the sub assembly here, but it is actually not an app link like this, right? It's just, it's just a part actually it's a app part and the idea is that this app part is synchronizing the content with the original sub assembly right so let me hide those for now so yeah so the idea is that you see cube and cube uh, they are links to to these cubes okay so this is a link to this and this is a link to this and the idea is that this, the assembly link, when it is recomputed, it will synchronize, make sure that we are still synchronized with the subassembly to have always the same, to have always the same uh, components in, inside, right? Okay, so now with this concept, you see the, because these are not the same objects as these, because they are links, they can have different placements. So it is possible to turn them into uh, flexible. So you see uh, the assembly link has a property called rigid and you can mm, right click and turn flexible. And in this case, uh, so now it's still uh, moving as one, but because it's not grounded, but if I add one joint between this and this, then if I move like this, it's the slider. But if I move like this, you see, I have the revol joint that moves. And you see between the two sub-assemblies, they are different now. And the reason is, yeah, again, it's not the same object. You see in the other sub-assembly object, it's not the same links, it's other links, cube five, cube six, while here it's cube three, cube four. And so they can have different placements. So this one, I can also turn it to flexible and they can have different status. This one can be rigid, the other one flexible, but I can turn this one flexible as well. And now the idea is that if I also connect it to the ground, because if it's not grounded, then it cannot move. They can behave differently. So this one can be here and this one can be here. And you see that you have two uh, flexible sub-assemblies, right? So the downside of this approach is that we are creating a new type of object, which are here like the assembly links. And, uh, and this, well, this causes like fragmentation, right? You, we have more different type of objects, so it's not ideal. Um, so a third possibilities a third possibility that i that i can see is that we create uh, we create not a new type of object but we create a new property in app links uh, and and if it is enabled like it could be called something like uh, uh, link children or something like this, like this. And if you enable the link children um, 
property, then instead of having uh, the group, you see the group, instead of using the group of uh, the linked object, it would create links to every component. So it would create link to all of these uh, objects uh, and keep them synchronized. So basically it would be very similar to this concept, but it would be uh, in, uh, in app link uh, rather than a separate object. So the downside of this approach is that, um, is that in assembly, we have like some constraints, uh, not constraints, we have like re requirements. Uh, and so for example, you see, if you create a link, then you have uh, the origin object, which we don't care about, the joint object, which needs to be modified because like the reference of the, of the joints, they must be referencing in the, in the main assembly, right? So here, in my assembly links, they are doing, I'm um, processing the joints to make them working in the main assembly, basically. Uh, and if the assembly is rigid, so if I, if I change this to, to rigid, then you see it's, uh, we, we don't even need, uh, we don't even need the group object. So it's not, uh, it's not here. Um, and yeah, so there are some some smaller issues hmm, that would be that would need special handling in the workbench, in the assembly workbench. But it's possible also. So yeah, so that was to present you the problem and the different possible uh, solutions. So if you have any uh, any idea or remarks or anything, uh, don't hesitate. Thanks.